So I have a little story for y'all. So a couple months ago, I was out with a friend. Actually, more so like an acquaintance. We weren't really that close. And a waiter came over to our table and put a drink down. And he was like, the gentleman over there just bought you a drink. And my friend instantly thought that the drink was for her. And you guessed it. It was a light-skinned woman. So the waiter corrected her and told her that the drink was for me. And when I tell you, for the next few weeks, that girl was just hitting me with backhanded compliments for, like... Like, she would just, like swipe up on my story with like backhanded shit or like anytime like our group of friends would really hang out like she would just hit me with so many backhanded compliments and it's just crazy to me how people get so caught up in desirability politics and once they get around somebody who kind of alters that reality they get so jealous In my time of being a beautiful dark-skinned woman who is confident as hell I've noticed that when I'm around light-skinned women or white women who like the fact that they benefit from colorism or racism, they get really, really jealous when they see that I alter that reality. And even though dark-skinned women are viewed as the most undesirable in every single community, my pretty privilege literally works everywhere, including Miami. And this is coming from a girl with no ass or titties. Every room that I walk into, and this is seriously no exaggeration, people go up to me and tell me that I'm beautiful and ask me if I'm a model and they all stare. And because I'm a woman who shakes the room and alters the reality of our colorist society, I make a lot of people uncomfortable. And because I am a dark-skinned woman, so many people are expecting me to be insecure. And because I'm so confident, it makes them even more mad. And this isn't all light-skinned women or white women, because I have been around white women and light-skinned women who are sure of themselves and do not feel intimidated by my presence. But there are ones out there who get so uncomfortable with the fact that I'm literally amazingly beautiful. And I shake the room every time I walk into it. And I'm sure a lot of beautiful dark-skinned women have had the same experience that I have. And it's honestly just so crazy to me. But anyways, if you guys want to have more of these discussions with me, make sure you click the link in my bio and subscribe to my YouTube because I am starting a podcast. Love y'all. Basils. I have stated this on YouTube so many times, so many times. I've stated that a lot of light-skinned women's confidence lies in darker-skinned women feeling inferior. And then I extend that to non-black women, period. A lot of non-black women's confidence lies in black women feeling inferior. And I know I'm not crazy because somebody else picked up on the same thing. Y'all want to know something else that I have mentioned in the past, and I'm sticking by this. To this day, I'm sticking by this. Maybe I'll change my mind in the future, but today ain't that day. Light-skinned women who are attractive are much less likely to be colorist than light-skinned women who are unattractive. And again, extend that to non-black women. Non-black women who are attractive are much less likely to be racist and uphold Eurocentric standards of beauty than non-black women who are unattractive. I swear by that. I swear. I'm not just saying that to shut people up because, you know, a lot of times somebody be like, ah, you ugly, just shut up. You know, that's not why I'm saying it. Let me explain why it is that I think this. An attractive woman is going to be attractive even without colorism or other Eurocentric standards of beauty. She knows that if colorism did not exist, you know, if if it just died right now in this moment, she would still be considered attractive because she's attractive. That's just that, right? But the dookie face hoes, 
they know that they ugly and they know that the only reason anybody pretends that they not is because of colorism. So they understand that they need colorism, right? And again, extend that to non-black women, the doodle face ones, they know good and well that they ugly as hell. And the only reason anybody pretends that they are worth looking at in any capacity is because of Eurocentric, AKA non-black standards of beauty. They know this, that's why they need these concepts. That's why they so strongly uphold them. The attractive women ain't gotta do all that. They know good and well they gonna be straight regardless. Now, before anybody comments talking about, oh, colorism is just how you're perceived by men, oh, you just wanna be yada, 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 you want men to think whatever about you. That's not true at all. First of all, literally studies have shown that police are more likely to shoot darker skin targets faster than they shoot lighter skin ones. Like quite literally, this stuff is, is way, way, way deeper than just who is considered attractive or not, right? But even in the discussion of attractiveness, even then, colorism is still important to talk about because a lot of y'all destroy dark skinned women. Y'all do. A lot of y'all make it your life's purpose to beat down and berate darker skinned women. So this conversation about who's attractive, this does need to be had. As this woman stated, a lot of light skinned women, non-black women, whoever, they will be upset when they see that you're gorgeous despite their skewed perceptions of who should be considered beautiful. Like, you know, they had this idea that, that blackness is ugly. That's literally what colorism is. That's literally what it is, right? They had this idea that dark skin is ugly, big lips ugly, a wide nose is ugly. So when they see somebody like you who is unambiguously black, and you look better than them, that like, that shatters their world. And it makes them angry, it makes them upset. Because in their minds, that's the only thing they have on you. The only way that they can say that they're better than you is, oh, I'm not black and you are, or I'm not dark skinned and you are. So as soon as they see that even being dark skinned or even being black, you steal the shit, that just, that they can't, they can't deal with that. Like y'all, I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. These people's, their confidence lies in tearing you down, right y'all? So one time I was working with some high school kids, right? Now y'all know that I used to work with kids teaching chess and stuff, right? And the crazy thing about black kids is that they are so self-hating. Like you should hear the stuff that they say. Like, I'd be like, yo, what? Like y'all, first of all, like they always call each other some crazy slur, you know, ooh, cotton pick or something. So, you know, Okay, they joking with that crap, but still it's like, um, what? But then also, right, also the thing is, they will legitimately, legitimately not joking, talk shit about blackness. They'll be like, oh, you black as hell or something, you know, something, something crazy, right? So one day I came in with my real hair out, like my real hair in a ponytail in this natural state, and they were like flabbergasted. And I'm like, why are y'all surprised that a black person has nappy hair? Like, are you fucking stupid? And I be asking, are you dumb? Because they old enough, are you dumb? I literally said something on those lines. If I remember correctly, I was like, why are y'all surprised a black person got nappy hair? Everybody in here got nappy hair. When you take them silk presses out, them, them, um, them perms and stuff, everybody in here got nappy hair, right? So then one little girl said, well, I don't got black people hair. I'm mixed. And I said, ugh. <laughs> like, I, I didn't know what to tell her. I said, ugh, that's nasty. But get well soon. You know what I'm saying? Because what you expect me to say? Ooh, good for you. You're not black. You don't have black people hair. Like, what are you expecting, right? And she looked very taken aback. She looked very surprised by my response because these kids have already gotten it into their minds that blackness is inferior. So they're like, they're like, what? When somebody is not ashamed of their blackness, they're used to being like, oh, I'm not black, I'm mixed. And somebody be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like you have good hair. I was like, yuck, that's disgusting. Blackness is supreme. Get well soon, sister. Like what? My point is this though, the only reason that little mixed girl could have the superiority complex that she had is because the black kids around her had the inferiority complexes that they had. The only reason she could sit there talking about, oh, I got good hair, whatever, is because that's what she heard from black people. Black people told her that she was better than us. That's where these people get this from, right? So this woman talking about how, you know, people are threatened by confident, darker skinned women it's true. It's definitely true because they understand at the moment that we see the beauty in ourselves, they're going to fall off of their pedestal.